Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone has had a uh, good afternoon or morning, depending upon where you are. My name is Joe Ely. I'm a registered rep at Lightspeed. We are a division of Lime Brokerage. This is our free webinar, Basic to Advanced Features of the ES EMS, formerly Realtek Pro platform. Um, before we get started, we just have a quick disclaimer that I need to read, and then we'll get right into the presentation. Um, this presentation is for informational purposes only. Nothing presented today should be construed as investment advice or a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold any security or contract. Since we don't know everyone's investment objectives or risk tolerance, we are not endorsing any specific trading strategies. Security derivative and futures trading involves the substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Each investor must consider whether this is, suitable invest this is a suitable investment since you may lose all or more, more than your initial investment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Lightspeed is a division of Lime Brokerage LLC. Lime Brokerage LLC is not affiliated with these third-party market commentators, educators, or service providers. Data information and material are provided for informational and educational purposes only. This content neither is nor should be construed as an offer, solicitation, or recommendation to buy, sell any securities or contracts. Any investment decisions made by the user through the use of such content is solely based on the user's independent analysis, taking into consideration your financial circumstances, investment objectives, and risk tolerance. Lime Brokerage LLC does not endorse, offer, nor recommend any of the service or commentary provided by any of the market commentators, educators, or service providers, and any information used to execute any trading strategies are solely based on the independent analysis of the user. All right, so now that we are through... With that, um, this next slide, I just have my contact info here, my email. My email is jely at limebrokerage.com. So if after the webinar, if you're interested in opening an account or have more, uh, have more questions on the Realtek trading platform, you can just let me know. I'd be glad to help you out. All right, so the first thing that I wanted to do was just quickly go through a couple things on the Lightspeed website for those of you that are new to us. Uh, this is the Lightspeed homepage. Um, just wanted to go over our commission pricing really quick. If you click on pricing commission, you can see we offer two commission strategies or, or um, uh, offers. One is per share, the other is per trade. Uh, here per share starts at 0 0.0045 per share. Um, on the Realtik platform, the minimum per trade is, is $3 per trade. Uh, once you get more active, the rate goes down. Um, per trade starts at 450 and goes down based on volume as well. On Realtik, you can also trade options. Option starts at $0.60 cents per contract and goes down. You can also trade futures on Realtek. Uh, again, it starts at 60 cents per contract and goes down from there. Um, one of the big questions that I get, and, and a lot of you probably have right now, is you know why why do you offer so many different trading platforms? So we have a, a simple platform comparison page on our web website. Uh, Lightspeed Trader, Sterling Liveall X, Realtek Pro, and our web mobile trader. Uh, most of the platforms, especially the downloadable platforms like Lightspeed Trader, Sterling, Liveall, Realtek, they all do the basic, the same basic things. Uh, some of the platforms focus on specific features or uh, you know specific tools, but for the most part, you can see from the table they all do the same thing. Um, as a quick brief overview, Lightspeed Trader is very well known for having very fast uh, order entry and execution, uh, has hot keys, hot buttons. Um, Sterling is uh, similar to Lightspeed Trader and it's known for being fast, but it has a, a better or more robust uh, charting package. LiveAllX is uh, widely known for options trading, has a lot of options uh, tools built into the platform. 
Realtik Pro is widely known for having a very good charting system. Uh, you have a lot of different uh, uh, charting analytics, studies, and whatnot. Um, all of the platforms are going to have hotkeys, hot buttons, and they're all going to be, you know, relatively quick in in getting orders entered and executed. Um, one of the big differences is cost. So, uh, Lightspeed Trader is $100 per month. That fee gets reduced by the commissions that you generate each month. So, any active trader that that's somewhat active is going to get their their platform fee waived. Uh, Sterling costs 140 to 170 per month. Uh, Live All X is currently free. Uh, Real Tick is $325 per month. It also has a, uh, a smaller version called Real Tick Express that's currently $125 per month. Uh, the minimum to fund and open an account with any four of these platforms is $25,000. All right, so this is the, the Realtik platform, and it's a basic one monitor page setup that I have here. I have one level two uh, watch list. I have my order history, uh, positions, and um, a tab view window here at the bottom where you can click on multiple different tabs to see different information. Um, I see a question. Do you offer a real-time simulator? Um, we, we don't offer anything that I would say is a simulator, but we do offer real-time demos where you can execute trades and you know test out the features of the platform. Uh, none of the platforms are really going to be a simulator. You can you know use them to test the features of the platforms, but not really. You know it's not going to represent a real uh, trading uh, situations. Um, to get started, one of the real basic things on, on most platforms, and, and including Realtik, is you can have multiple different pages set up. So this page I've set up as a Joe demo and today's date. Um, once I have it set up exactly the way that I want it, I would just go to page and save as. I save it to my desktop and then or anywhere on my computer and then anytime I want this page I can just open it up on my desktop. If I want to open up a new page I just go to page and then new. I'm sorry page and then open and I can pull up um, you know here's a futures default layout that Realtik uh, has. It should pop up here any second. So just, just so I you know while, while I'm looking at a couple of these pages. Uh, I'm going to ask a few questions. If you guys could reply back, that'd be great. Um, so uh, how many how many of you are current Lightspeed customers? If you are a current Lightspeed customer, can you type in a one? Uh, if you're not a current Lightspeed customer, type in a two, just so I can get an idea of if I'm talking to existing customers or, or potential customers. OK. There's a re really good mix there. So maybe maybe 50-50, uh, maybe a few more prospects, uh, prospective customers than, than current customers. Well, no, oh, current customers are coming in here at the end. So a little bit of each, uh, probably 50-50. Um, and then uh, the other question I wanted to ask is how many of you uh, trade stocks, options, futures, or multiple? So stocks uh, one, uh, uh, options two, futures three, and then if you do, you know, multiple, you know, type in four. Or Yeah, someone types in all, that's good. Um, all right, so the vast majority of stocks, we do have, definitely have some significant options traders and a few futures traders, uh, some that trade all, but mostly, mostly stock traders. All right, thank you, I appreciate the feedback. Um, so I'm going to open up uh, the page I had before. This page is completely customizable. You can add as many charts, level two screens, watch lists, uh, position windows, um, anything that you want. So you would go to design and then you choose the window that you want to open. So here, this is a, a ticker window that's pre, it's got a predetermined uh, uh, setup. 
and it's just listing out every single trade that's going off right now. Um, any window you want to open, you go to design and then click on the window. Here's turbo options, for example. This is where you're going to see uh, you know, your options quotes. So this is an, an options chain for uh, SPY. You have all the different uh, uh, expirations listed across the top. So if you click on one specific um, contract, you know, here's the October 26 weekly, you click on that, all of a sudden you see the, the contracts associated with that expiration. Uh, calls are on the left, puts are on the right. Um, any window that you want, if you press F7, you get an order entry window at the bottom. And uh, in, in this in this presentation, we're going to start out somewhat basic and just go go through you know the real basic things. And then as we get later on to the presentation, we'll get to you know some of the more advanced things. I do have a lot of material that I want to cover, so I am going to go fairly quickly. If you have a question, uh, type it in. I'll try to answer most, if not all, the, the questions that you guys post. And again, if I don't get to your question, you can always email me. It's jely at limebrokerage.com. Um, so here's an options window. If you want to look at a future, uh, here in my watch list, I have the S&P E-mini future. I click, drag, and drop that on my uh, level two, and then uh, it populates all of my charts. So if I close this, uh, or maybe I'll just minimize this options window, you see that I have the S&P E-mini futures contract on all of my charts. Um, have a two minute, five, 15, 60, and daily chart. Uh, for those of you that do trade futures, uh, there is a ladder or matrix or dome, whatever you want to call it, uh, built into the system. Let's see if I can, there we go. So if you want to trade futures and you don't want to look at the traditional level two screen, you can eliminate that and you can look at uh, the matrix or dome. Uh, Realtek calls it a ladder. It also has other 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 futures trading uh, features in here. Let's see. Um, Here it is. Um, histogram, if you add that, it's going to show you all of the uh, price points throughout the day, how many uh, trades went off at each price point and what the volume was. Uh, you can use you, you can you know use this for stocks too if you'd like. You know if I type in uh, SPY, it, it's going to populate um, for the stock as well. So on the, the right, this histogram, you know, you have your price. That's that's every every trade, every price point that executed today, the volume at that price point, and the number of trades. And, and this is widely used uh, for trading futures. Uh, if you look this year, this uh, $280.82, that was the um, the current price. Uh, see a few questions. Um, hey Joe, where can I find uh, the options for ladders. Uh, if you can clarify what you're asking, um, I, I'll, I'll go through that. Uh, is there a market profile histogram on the stock chart? I'm not sure uh, what you're referring to there. If you can try to clarify it, I can, you know, hopefully answer that. So my point in just you know going through and showing options and futures really quick is uh, just just to show you that they're available. Um, if you right click on the on any window, but on the level two, you right click, you go to show windows histogram. That's where you take that off. There's also things like uh, liquidity chart. It shows you this little pie chart at the top. And it shows the exchange um, that the that that trades went off at. You know where liquidity is, so you can see the ADF had uh, 
4% of the volume today, uh, ARCA 17%, and so forth. All right, so if you want to multiply, if you want to have different charts, you want to um, clone a chart, you simply right click on it, go to clone window, and it's going to create a brand new chart exactly the same as the chart that you just had. So I hit clone window, and all of a sudden I have a brand new chart that matches the existing chart that I have. Once you have your page set up the way that you want, Again, you go to page, save as, we'll just call this uh, tester, you hit save. Now that page is saved to your, to your computer. If you wanna go between different pages, you can do that intraday. Uh, one of the, the cool things on this platform and most platforms is you can set up all of your windows to link together. So um, if you right click on a chart, I'm sorry, on a level two, uh, you go to links and then you click on the window that you want it to link to, um, hold the control button down. So if I hit the control button, click on all my charts, I click okay. Um, if I drag and drop a new symbol, it's going to update all of my charts. Does anyone uh, have questions? All right, I see a couple of questions here. Um, yeah, uh, someone asks, can you use the, the arrow keys to scroll through? Um, you can. Um, you would... Uh, there is a way to do that, and you know what? I forgot how to do it, unfortunately, but you can definitely um, set up a long watch list, for example. Like here I have, um, you know, just different watch lists, and you can set it up so that you can um, scroll through your watch list, and it'll automatically update all of the charts on your screen. Uh, someone asks, can I link a level two to a chart, but not a chart to a level two? Uh, that's correct. You, it only links one way. So you can link charts to a level two screen, but um, you can't link a level two to a chart. So the, the driving window is the level two screen. Uh, whatever symbol you have in your level two screen, you hit enter, that, that'll that populate the rest of the windows on the platform. Um, and uh, another question, do you have drag and drop? Yes, uh, you can drag and drop. So if I drag a symbol and drop it on a chart, it's going to update that chart to that symbol. Uh, same thing with the level two. If I drag the cues and drop it on my level two, um, it's going to update all of the charts. So, so you can do both. Um, someone has a good question. How do you test the hotkeys before you use them uh, in a live market environment? Um, there is a, a test stock that you guys can use to test trades. Um, so it's ZVZZT. Uh, oops. So I just en entered the symbol here. Any trade executed in the symbol ZVZZT is a, a paper trade or a fake trade. Um, it's not a real security, so if you execute a trade, you buy it, you sell it, um, 
you know, it's 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 not real. So you can test things out using that tool or using that symbol. Um, can you link uh, level two to trade ideas? I, I believe, you know, I don't know anyone that does it right now, but I, I believe that it was uh, a feature that was available in the past where you can link Realtek to trade ideas. Um, I don't know anyone that does it now, though, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, someone has a good question. What's the difference between the full version? Uh, I'm going to answer this question and then move on to the material. Uh, What's the key differences between the full version of Realtek, Realtek Pro, and the, the smaller version, Realtek uh, Express is what they call it. Uh, there's four main differences. Uh, the Express version, the cheaper version, limits you to four level two screens. It limits you to view 100 symbols at a time. You don't get an advanced time and sales window. Um, and I'll show that to you right now. Realtek has a very advanced time and sales window. Um, this window here. Um, I've got to change the, the symbol here. So, so this is an advanced time and sales window on Realtek. It will show you the historical um, best bid, best ask, as well as trades. And you can set your time frame. You know, you can set a beginning time, end time, um, and so forth. So this advanced time and sales window is not available in uh, Realtek Express. And the other uh, main difference is uh, it doesn't come with alarms or alerts. Uh, so there's alarms and alerts inside of Realtek. And um, you don't get that on the, the Express version. All right, so here we go. So it popped up. So you can see, um, if you scroll through this, you can scroll back to virtually any time, and you can see tick by tick exactly what the market did. So at 14, 12, 26, the, the best bid, best ask, um, you know, was 46.95 on the bid, 46.96 on the ask. Uh, NASDAQ was on the bid. BATS was on the ask. Um, and if you scroll through this advanced time and sales window, um, you know, you can see each individual trade. So it prints out everything, you know, by volume, by price, volume, uh, which exchange and whatnot. So you can see um, every single thing that happened within the market today. And this is, you know, a really good uh, tool for research if you if you want to look back uh, at a specific stock and a specific time and date and whatnot, see what trading activity occurred. You, you can see that. Um, the, the charts, so Realtek, you know, one of the big selling points on Realtek is, is the charting and how it looks and functionality. So I'm going to blow up this chart here a little bit. This is just a very basic, uh, 15 minute candlestick chart. I have, uh, uh, a study built in. I have the RSI, uh, running through this point right here and I, I set it up so I have it color coded when the RSI hits a certain um, threshold uh, on the, the, the overbought and oversold side uh, that it, it gives me a, a color so if you look at as soon as it hits you know a point on the, on the upside there's going to be a red meaning that it's you know potentially um, overbought in that uh, you know you might want to look to short and the same thing on the downside you know potentially if, if it gets down to Point like this, you know, where it's it's oversold, you might want to buy, and and that's just a you know one study that I've customized, you know, for my preference. But you can add any study that you want on Realtek. Uh, volume is here at the bottom. You right click on any chart to customize it. Go to setup. This is where you can choose um, what type of chart you want to look at, whether you want to look at um, uh, a candlestick, tick bar, intraday, bids, ask. Uh, daily, weekly, monthly, intraday, and so forth. So typically, you know, most traders that are day traders are looking at an intraday chart. You can set the number of minutes, you know, if you want to look at a seven-minute chart or, or, you know, whatever time frame you want. You want to look at a, <clears throat> a three-minute chart. You can set it to three minutes. Um, 
you can include pre and post market data or exclude it. If you want to see pre market trades, post market trades, you can view it. If not, you can take it out. Um, you can actually go back and set a specific date so that you want to look at a chart on a specific date. You can change the date. Um, how many days you want to look at on a chart. Here I have it set to 40. Um, show volume, volume by price, uh, bar graph, candlestick, whatnot. Click OK. Now it's going to update to my three minute chart. Right click, go to display and analysis. Um, this is where you can add studies. Um, Tau standard studies, this is uh, where you see everything that is available. If you want to look at um, MACD, uh, an envelope, uh, CCI, uh, percent K, percent R, whatnot, uh, RSI, standard deviations, true range, uh, VWAP. VWAP is a, a, a good study that a lot of people like to look at, so we'll just add that one. Just click OK, OK, and there's a VWAP. Now I'm going to remove that VWAP. Click OK. You can also, there's a VWAP in the, um, the trend tools here. Let's see, trend tool. Uh, you can draw you can draw any trend line that you want. Um, here I have it selected on VWAP, so I kind of like this trend tool VWAP where I can draw the top, you know the line on the chart for the time frame that I want to see the VWAP. So if I want to see the VWAP, you know, you know between this this point and this point, that's exactly where it is. I hit clear takes it out. If I want to see the VWAP, I don't know. We'll see. You know, we'll just say for like the last, you know, whatever this is, 20 minutes or so, you can draw the line there, and that's the average price of all trades executed during that time frame. Um, I think that's pretty pretty cool tool. Um, if you want to just do a regular, you know, you can draw regular trend lines, you know, any which way that you want. It's uh, very customizable. Um, also has uh, GAN lines, Fibonacci, um, and so forth. There's a crosshair tool, so you know you put the crosshair anywhere on the chart. It's going to show you the open, high, low, close, the volume, and it's also going to show you the um, whatever study you have on the chart. It's going to show you the number for that specific study. Um, if we want to add a moving average, for example, we right-click, go to Display and Analysis, choose Moving Average. Click OK. Uh, we want it on the close. We're going to look at, I don't know, we'll say a 200 period moving average. Click OK. Uh, I like my 200 period moving averages to be red. We'll change it to red. Click OK, OK. And there's a 200 period moving average. It looks kind of boring on my three minute chart. So maybe we'll just change this to 15. And there, it's a little bit more interesting on a, on a 15 minute chart. It's interesting how uh, pulled back directly to the 200 period moving average right there. Um, so Aaron, you asked if you're able to set a VWAP time period. Uh, you would use the second trend tool that I showed you that um, will will calculate the VWAP based on the the time frame that you add it to the chart. Another question, uh, are all your charts uh, set to 40 bars? Um, my charts, you know, I, I don't even really know because Realtik is customizable that when you when you make a chart wide, it adds bars so, so you can see them and if you make it smaller it, it decreases the number of bars that you can see um, but typically I'll set my charts up depending upon what time frame I'm looking at so if you're looking at a, a two minute or, or, or a daily chart you're gonna have different number of, of bars set up so here on my two minute you know this actually goes back 40 days and believe it or not um, Realtek has a, a really good database of um, of charts. So if I hit F6 here, so let's see, 
number of days on my daily, I have 200 days. I'll just make it, I don't know. I'll just make it 3,000 and click OK. And we're looking at the uh, spiders, SPY. If I hit F6, it puts all the candlesticks um, in, in that 3,000 days back and jams them all on one chart so you can really see a big picture of uh, a stock or an ETF or index on one chart. Um, I know some of the stocks go back really far, like Ford, for example. You know, if I change that to, I don't know, we'll say 10,000, it'll probably go back to the mid 80s. Here we go. So this is a daily chart for Ford going back to 1983. And, you know, it, it, if you're if you're investing for longer term or you want to look at, you know, historical uh, points of uh, support and resistance, you know, that go back years, you know, you can see you can see basically all the information on one one chart. I think it's a, a really nice feature on Realtek. So if I hit uh, F6 again, it just brings me back to the to the current uh, candlesticks. Realtek has pivot lines. You can show pivot lines. You can also show your orders and executions on charts, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to set it up so this shows my executions and uh, orders. So earlier today, just on the demo, I bought and sold quickly uh, 2,000 shares of uh, SPY. You can see here in my order history, and it has these big uh, dots here. You know where if you put your mouse over it, you hover over it, it shows you what you bought and sold and the price and time. So if I go to place a trade, um, this is an order entry window that's on the bottom of my level two. Um, we'll just make it different this time. We'll say 1,500 shares. If I click on the price on the ask, it updates the price window here to 280.71. Um, so I'm going to hit buy. If you look on my charts, it has the order. All right, there we go. So 300 was executed. 600 was executed. You see it on my level two. You can have the, the order appear on your level two. You can have it appear on your charts. And as it gets executed, it shows on your charts as well. So on, on this here, we'll make this one a little bit bigger. So what's remaining, I can click on this and drag it up and it changed the price. So if you see, I clicked on it, I dragged it up, I moved uh, the price up to 280 spot 92. So now I'm getting fills at that price. Uh, someone asked a question, is there a way to flatten or close current position? Uh, absolutely. You can set up uh, hot buttons or hot keys that will flatten your position or even reverse your position. Um, I don't know if I have it set up on um, this login, but I used to have um, 10 hot buttons and hot keys set up where it would do just that. You could, um, you know, click a button or click uh, two keys on your keyboard where, you know, you hit, you know, control X and that flattens all of your positions or, you know, control P uh, will flatten just that position that you're looking at at that particular time. Um, it's completely customizable. Okay, so right now I have, you know, in this demo account, I'm long 1500 SPY and it shows the average price. So if you look on the chart here, it says uh, 280 spot 722. Um, let's see, here we go. So on this window here, this is the tab view shows your account details. This is just a demo, so it has 200,000 in, in you know, buying power. If I click on all orders, I see everything. I click on open P&L. It shows my open P&L, my position here, SPY, 1,500 shares long, net position. My open P&L, um, down $18, total P&L. Um, 
uh, down 197. The trade, the demo trade I did before, I lost $179. Shows you my long market value, 421,000. Uh, someone has a question. Uh, can you load option contracts to the charts in level two? Um, yes, uh, Realtick does have a level two and uh, a level two for options, and you can chart options. One of the other things that Realtick is known for is having a bracket and OCO orders. So I'm going to cover an OCO order right now because I have a position. So right now I'm long 1500 spy at 280 spot 722. I can, you know, click on this little arrow here. You go to system order forms. There's a lot of uh, preset order forms set up for you. I typically use just a small basic one, um, but if you choose OCO, this OCO window pops up. Um, long SPY, so I want to click the sell button. What that do? What that does is it customizes this uh, order entry ticket um, for a long position. It says up market profit. Um, we want to set <clears throat> a target price. I don't know. We'll say two eighty spot ninety. On the downside, if it goes against me, I'm going to set a stop market order. I'm going to set it at uh, two eighty thirty nine. So when I set these two prices, you know, I have a target and a stop. And it's all pre-filled out. It shows uh, my quantity is 1,500 shares. I click uh, place orders. And what that does is it brackets my position. So on this chart here, let's see. You can see my long position. We've got my target and my stop here. Now, I place these orders, and I realize that my target you know, this is just hypothetical. I, I recognize that my target is, uh, you know, relatively close compared to my stop. So maybe I want to tighten up my stop. If I click on the uh, line on the chart, uh, drag it and drop it. Say I want to set it, you know, way up here at uh, 280.58 and drag it and drop it. It changes the order. So now my stop order was set at uh, the 280.58. And you can see it here on the uh, level two screen. It looks like I got a fill. It looks like net position is down to a thousand. So let's see. Yeah, some of it's getting filled right now as we speak. Um, a lot of times the demo, and especially after hours, it doesn't exactly fill based on uh, the, the correct prices. Um, it's really just a tool so you can you know, test out the features and whatnot, but um, you get the idea of how it works. Uh, another good question. Uh, someone asks, can you trade directly from the chart? Uh, by clicking on something, you must enter hotkeys or order window. Um, you must enter an order by the order window, hotkeys, or hot buttons. You can set real tick up to uh, place trades by clicking on the bid and ask on the level two screen. So I'm going to go back to my regular mini uh, order entry here. I forget exactly where it is, but there's a way to set it up so that if you click on the bid, you can set it so that it, it joins the bid or, it, or you know, joins the bid, meaning it's going to buy, um, place a buy order, or you can have it set up so that when you click on the bid, it, it hits the bid, it sells, uh, sells or sells short. So I just right clicked, I went to order entry properties. And it's definitely in here. One of these tabs, you click on it, and it says, uh, you know, where you can join the bid or hit the bid, join the ask, hit the ask. So that, that can definitely be done. Um, this is where the hotkeys are set up as well. So if you look, I have a, a bunch of different hotkeys set up right here. These are, you know, ones that I've had for years. Um, 
you want to create a new hotkey, you go to new, order action, and then you get this ticket that you fill out. Um, we're going to set one up, uh, we'll call it uh, buy at bid, click action, choose buy at bid, uh, this is where you're going to choose your route. Uh, since I'm on a demo, we're going to choose demo. My account, I definitely want my demo account. You can set up the um, trade size parameters. You want to set it up, let's just say 200 shares. Um, and, and when you're doing this, you can also do offsets. So this bid delta, you can have it, you know, go bid plus a penny. Um, I'm not going to do that now, but um, you can do that. You can do, you know, bid minus five cents or whatever it is that you want, but you can, you can definitely customize it. But for this demo, uh, for this presentation, we'll just do a straight buy at bid. Um, expiration, um, we're going to choose day plus. So, uh, on all your order forms, you have an expiration. Uh, IOC is immediate or cancel. GTC, go to cancel, day, day plus. Day plus means the order stays live in post-market. Uh, then there's a lot of different other uh, expirations set, but we're just going to choose day plus. I'm going to click OK. Uh, this is the label. It says buy at bid. That's OK. All right, so here's my hotkey. I'm going to click... Uh, Control B. Oh, it's already assigned. Do you want to replace? We'll say no. We'll hit, uh, I don't know, Control M. So buy a bid is Control M. We click OK. Now, if I do uh, click on the level two, hit Control M, it sends the order exactly as I set it up. So it places an order by 200 SPY at the bid. Um, see a lot of questions coming through, and we've already been uh, going for about 45 minutes. I still have a bunch of items that I wanted to cover with you guys, and uh, we're really only scheduled for an hour, and I, I'd really like to keep it to that. Um, if anyone has um, questions that, that you really want an answer to, please email me. Again, it's jely at limebrokerage.com. All right, so I'm going to cancel this order. Orders canceled. Um, we want to set up hot buttons. So if you right click on the bottom of a level two here, the order entry, um, there's a, where is it? I don't see it. There's a way to add a tab at the bottom that will um, allow you to add hot buttons directly to your order entry window. And of course, there's, you know, Realtick is extremely customizable. There's a lot of different options and choices here. Here we go, show toolbars. We go to new toolbar and um, I'm just gonna add a couple of these here. So these are these are toolbars that I had set up previously. <clears throat> so if you have a live order, I have these hot keys linked to these hot buttons and it allows me to adjust the price of, of an order. So if I hit um, control M, my order's out there to buy the 200 shares at 280.71. Um, if I hit out one, and this is a hot key, hot button setup, it pushes the price of my order out away from the best bid, best ask by a penny. If I click out 10, you notice it jumps my order, you know, 10 cents further out. And you can do the same thing uh, going in. If I hit in 10, it moves it in 10, <clears throat> in five, and it immediately got executed at, at, the, at the ask. Um, uh, 
another um, toolbar that I set up is a volume toolbar. So instead of having to change the volume in your order entry window here, I set up hot keys or hot buttons, whatever you want to call it, to adjust the quantity. So if I click on 100, it's going to change my quantity to 100. I click on 1,000, changes it to 1,000. And you can set these up to, you know, whatever your parameters are. And you can have it saved on your, your page so that, you know, you have these really easy to use uh, features. I'm going to see if I have the old, um, I used to have a reverse button as well as a close, close all. Um, let's see, real quick. Yeah, it, 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 I haven't used it in a while, but this used to be it, where you would have these buttons across the bottom, uh, cancel all. I used to have a reverse button, uh, close position, and close, close, close all positions. Three buttons set up so that um, you could quickly uh, get out of a position, or even reverse a position. If you're actively trading something and uh, big news comes out and you're long and you, you you all of a sudden know you need to be short, you just hit the reverse button and it will close out your position and, and place a trade going the opposite direction. Um, someone asked a question that, that I did cover before. We'll answer it real quick. Uh, can you trade options and futures on Realtek? Yes, you can trade stocks, options, and futures. Um, you need a separate account to trade futures though. So you would have two accounts. You'd have one account where you can trade stocks and options, and then a second account where you would uh, be able to trade futures. Uh, someone asks, are you able to remove the order from the chart? Yes. If you don't want to see uh, position or orders on a chart, you can definitely take that off. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Here we go, display attributes, uh, take off show. So now, now that's gone. Uh, I wanna get rid of the executions and take those off as well. All right, w one of the other things that I definitely wanted to cover is the uh, scanning tool built into Realtek. Uh, used to be called the Tal Tree. Yeah, it's still called Tal Tree, um, but th this is a, a list of predefined scans that you can use um, for trading ideas. Uh, someone asks if Realtek has a new service. Uh, it does have a new service. I'm not sure if it's really the most uh, comprehensive news out there, but it does have a new service. Um, so, so this scanner, you can scan 4% gainers, for example. You have these predefined scans, you click on it, you drag it and drop it on your watch list, and uh, it gives you the list. If I wanna see stocks, a lot of traders use this every single day, uh, stocks that are gapping down at the open. This is a list of all the stocks that, that you know gap down at the open, and then if I double click um, on the change, it shows you the percent change or, or the, the, the actual change in, in dollars and cents or the percent change. So if I double click on percent change, um, you know, this PXI had the, the biggest percent change on the day. Uh, stocks that uh, gapped up at the open. Same thing, you double click on it, uh, sort it by percent change. This uh, VTVT, you know, has a percent change of uh, $28 today. Uh, you know, wanna look at halted stocks. Uh, stocks with a hot number of trades hot volume, uh, stocks uh, near their high, 52-week uh, highs and lows, um, and so forth. Uh, there's pre- and post-market scans. So if you want to run a scan pre-market, you want to look at pre-market percent gainers or losers uh, to come up with trading ideas, you can run that scan and see the pre-market percent gainers, uh, percent losers, and so forth. Um, the indices is something that, that I do use. Um, you can pull up on the full real tick. Uh, you know, here's the Russell 1000 index. Here's every stock in the Russell 1000. 
and you can sort it by change or percent change or volume. You know, you want to look at the Russell 1000 by volume. There it is. If you want to look at the S&P 500, click, drag, and drop, and you get the same list. You want to look at, you know, what S&P stock has the, had the worst day. Uh, IBM percentage-wise, down seven, over 7%. Um, best S&P 500 stock uh, today, uh, UAL, positive 5.95. Um, and the other thing, um, colors, you can change any one of these colors. Uh, this green that's on this particular window is, is actually kind of annoying. Uh, you can go to display options and change, change the text colors. So if we want to look at uh, a different color, uh, a more subtle green, you can set it up so that, that it shows that. Uh, a couple of real qu uh, question, uh, answer a couple of questions really quick. Uh, can you trade Forex? Uh, no, you cannot trade Forex. We don't offer Forex. Can you make your own scans? There is a way to um, customize some of the features in Realtek, but you really can't create your own scans. Uh, someone asked that uh, Realtek crashed on them. Have you heard about Realtek crashing during market hours? Um, any platform can crash uh, at any time, uh, obviously. Um, Realtek has been extremely reliable, and I haven't heard of any um, issues with Realtek crashing intraday. Um, but you know, of course, anything's possible. Uh, trailing stops. Someone wants to know if we have trailing stops. It does. Uh, let's see. So I'm just going to get rid of some of the clutter here. All right, so maybe I should have covered this earlier in the beginning, but these are all the different uh, order types available. Um, if you scroll through it, you know you can see uh, virtually any type of order type that you want. You can have a, a trailing stop, trailing stop limit, uh, stop market, stop limit, you know market limit, all all the basic ones, all the way to some of the more advanced ones. Uh, you can enter a peg bid, peg offer, peg mid. Uh, hidden orders, uh, and so forth. So it's extremely comprehensive in the types of orders that are available. A uh, lot of different questions coming through. Um, can you set up real tick to show stocks with a low float? Um, I don't know that there's a way to scan for specific stocks with a low float, but you can show the float uh, as a column in, in probably any uh, market minder window or scan, but you would have to come up with a stock. So if you did a S&P 500 list and added the float as a column, you, you know, you could sort it that way, but um, it's not going to come up with stocks with a specific uh, uh, low float. Um, so back to the scanner here. Um, anyone have questions about the scanner? One of the other things that I like to show people is this uh, Tal Market Statistics. If you want to look at um, NYSE stats, you know the ad advanced decline ratios, uh, put call ratio, uh, total volume, uh, call volume, put volume, and so forth. Uh, these scanners are available, so you can get some, you know, good insight into the market and, you know, what the the broad uh, market is doing based on, you know, puts, calls, uh, declining volume, advancing volume, and, and things of that nature. Realtek has uh, so many more features, you know, that I really didn't have time to go over, but um, it has alarms and alerts. You can set customizable alarms and alerts so that uh, you can see a, uh, see a visual alarm as well as a sound. You can look at uh, corporate actions. 
you can pull up a web browser inside of Realtek. Um, another feature that I like that I use, you can set up favorites. So if you, um, like say this chart right here, this uh, two minute SPY chart, if I um, want, I can add it to favorites. So I'm gonna go, I right click, go to favorites, add to favorites. And we'll call it uh, Joe's chart, right? And I have it set up exactly the way that I want it. Um, anytime I want, I can go to favorites, chart, and then find Joe's chart, and then click on it, and it's going to open up an exact replica of the chart that I saved. Um, and you could do that for virtually any window. Favorites, um, you want to look at a, a market maker's window. Uh, here's a, a default one. It'll just pop up. Uh, another couple of questions that, that came through. Can you use uh, Realtek API with the Express version or, you, or do you need the Pro version? I'm fairly certain that you can do it. Uh, you can use the API on either version. Um, I believe I have customers doing both right now. Uh, does Realtek uh, live or, or reside on your computer or is it server-based? Realtek resides on your computer. It's a fairly... Uh, uh, resource intensive platform. Uh, that's one of the downfalls to Realtek compared to Lightspeed Trader. Lightspeed Trader is a ver very uh, light platform where uh, a lot of the, the functionality resides on a server so you're not really you're not relying on your internet connection or your computer. Uh, Realtek is kind of the opposite. It definitely relies heavily on your computer and your internet connection. Um, does Realtek work on a Mac and a PC? As far as I know, it only works on a PC. Can you link charts together? Yes, you can definitely link charts together. Is there a tutorial or manual for, for users of Realtek? Uh, there is a, a manual on Realtek. I'm not sure how comprehensive it is. I haven't used it in a while. Um, but there is not uh, tutorials as far as I know. So I'm getting close to wrapping things up for the day. Um, if there's anything specific in the last couple of minutes here um, that I covered, but maybe not in detail enough, or something that you had uh, you wanted a clarification on, if, if you know a couple come through, I can answer those in the last couple of minutes here. But other than that, I really um, think I went through all the material I had for you. I hope that uh, you learned something. From this, and uh, if you are interested in Realtek uh, and trading from it in the future, just let me know. Uh, here's a good question: Did the commissions cut out the monthly cost? They they do not. You do pay for Realtek as well as data every month. It's a third-party trading platform, um, so you you do pay for the software each month as well as for data. All right, well, it looks like uh, questions have kind of slowed down now. Oh, uh, there we go. As soon as I say that, we get a bunch come through. Uh, my email address, my email is jely at limebrokerage.com. That's jely at limebrokerage.com. Uh, let's see. Another question that, that popped up. Uh, someone missed the beginning of the webinar, wanted to know if it's being recorded. Yes, the webinar is being recorded and will be posted to our website. Uh, that usually takes two or three days. Um, I'm going to type in my email address. It looks like um, a few people are not 
not getting it. Let's see. All right, I just posted my email address uh, so that everyone can see it. Uh, another question, uh, very good question. Uh, do we have uh, a demo? Do you have to open an account to get a demo? Uh, we give out uh, one week real time demos for Lightspeed Trader. For Realtek, you get a one week demo, uh, but the data is delayed 15 minutes. If you, anybody wants a demo, you can email me directly or you can sign up uh, for a demo on our website. You go to lightspeed.com and uh, you can choose, uh, you know, get demo and you can choose Real Tick, Lightspeed Trader, or any of the other platforms that we offer. All right. Well, I really want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. Uh, again, I hope you did learn something, and uh, if you do have questions, please let me know. If you'd like to open an account, go to lightspeed.com and you click on the open account button. If you choose me, Joe Ely, as your salesman, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Um, but other than that, I hope everyone has a great evening or morning, wherever, wherever it is in the world you are. Have a good one, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.